3 is on your side tonight, breaking down your soaring grocery bill. The Wisconsin Farm Bureau says food prices here in Wisconsin have risen more than 8% since December, with energy costs pushing commodity costs higher. News 3's David Douglas joins us with the numbers. David, it's complicated stuff, too. It can be. For instance, chicken breast, something that a lot of us buy, has increased 34 cents a pound in the last three months. And as seasonal produce costs continue to climb year to year, Locally, there's an effort to make sure everyone has access to fresh food. Now these are the beets, I think. It's not a can or a box, and you know that box food isn't that great for you. It's okay, but this is better. By digging in the dirt, Patty Hubbard is doing more than producing produce, but helping a community grow. I can easily donate a good bit of this to the food pantry. She's one of more than a dozen gardeners planting seeds who, in exchange for a plot of land, will give a quarter of their fresh fruits and veggies to Middleton Outreach Ministry. Our clients are very limited budgets and produce is very, very expensive. And so we are just thrilled that we're able to be able to add this important part of um, a nutritious diet. The other tenders of the Soul Garden are clients of the ministry's food pantry learning to cultivate their own healthy future. We pair them with a garden mentor who's got a lot of years of gardening experience. Sherry Farha says pantry shelves are thinner these days as they work to meet increased demand. It's no surprise. We found the average price of vine tomatoes in Madison grocery stores to be lower than the national average for the last two years. But staples like ground beef average 65 cents higher here than the current national average. And though milk is cheaper in the dairy state than it is elsewhere, you can see how prices have climbed since a year ago. And grocers want you to know the increases aren't what they'd like to see either. Grocers are as reluctant as they can be to raise prices because, you know, if I have to raise my prices and you don't, they may go to your store and leave mine and I can't afford, I can't afford to have them do that. While the decisions those on tight budgets face won't get easier anytime soon, the success of a garden designed to help at least a little bit is grounded in more than fertile soil. Everyone just kind of works neck to neck doing the same type of work right next to each other in various plots, but no one knows who might be going through sort of a rougher patch than others. So it's a really neat experience. And going back to grocers for a moment, Brandon Schultz with the Grocers Association tells me margins are so slim. On $100 of groceries, the true profit for a grocery store might only be a dollar. How is that possible, you say? Volume. You need a lot of people shopping in your store to make it be a profitable operation. A lot of viewers told us on Facebook this afternoon they're cutting back on things that are more expensive luxuries, you know, meat, seafood, mm -hmm. uh, any kind of desserts, and using coupons more and, and gardening more, as we saw in the story. It is, it's tough right now, but tough for those grocers, too. A lot of the money is made and the cost ratcheted up earlier in the process. Wow, they need us to buy a lot to make any money. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks, David. Appreciate it.